Hello, everyone. This is Leo from MCSoft, and today I was just trying to install my favorite video player. I don't have my video player yet, but I see a lot of windows asking me to fix remaining issues, which I'm not sure what the issues are, and something else is recommending me to do a backup and it wants my email address. You may have faced a situation like this trying to install any software online. Now I still have an icon on my desktop that says best player so let's go ahead and run that. That would be the smartest thing to do. Uh oh, that didn't work very well. It looks like my PC is all locked up now. Doesn't look like this is doing me a lot of good. So. Today I'll be showing you how to clean a badly infected computer like this using MCSoft Emergency Kit. So the first thing we need to do is get back machine access and I'll do that by opening Task Manager. And I'll go ahead and try to run explorer.exe There we go. And now we're going to run MCSoft Emergency Kit. Now this is a portable software, meaning that it does not have to be installed or uninstalled. You can keep it on your thumb drive or anywhere pretty much and you can install it whenever you need to or rather extract it because it doesn't really install itself and then if you want to get rid of it all you have to do is delete the folder so there is no install or uninstall process involved once it is extracted you will have to go to the folder to or to the location where you extracted the software and run emergency kit scanner once you do that it is going to ask you to update your database. I'll go ahead and do that. Once the update process is completed, you will want to go back and do a scan. Now, the type of scan depends on the nature of infection. Now, in this case, I'll be doing the recommended smart scan and trying to see if it is able to remove all our malware. However, if you have a badly infected computer, you should probably do a full scan. Now as we can see, MCSoft has found a ton of infections. They're all over the place, but they won't be there anymore after we are done with it. Let's go ahead and quarantine all of these threats. So MCSoft says some detections cannot be removed as they are active we need to reboot to complete the cleaning process. So I'll go ahead and reboot the system right now. Our system has rebooted and as we can see we are no longer having those annoying malware pop-ups anymore. We are also not getting any ransomware blocking our screen and asking us for details. So it looks like MCSoft has done the job 
and this computer is now clean and usable. This was a very basic tutorial on how to clean your computer using MCSoft Emergency Kit. In the future, you'll be getting two more tutorials on some of the more advanced functionality of MCSoft Emergency Kit. At the moment, though, have a nice malware-free day.